Now let's try using Flex Slider for our recent blog posts slideshow. So I'll scroll down, edit the view, click the format settings, make sure I don't have any widgets enabled, and change the slideshow type to Flex Slider. All right, so you can see that it is possible to create a content slideshow with Flex Slider, as long as you're using the View Slideshow plugin. However, it probably isn't the most visually appealing slideshow and the large arrows cover some of the content. This can be made a bit better though by adjusting the option set. So let's do that now. I mentioned option sets earlier, and I saw that I could only choose the default set when I configured the slideshows. So let's take a look at what those are and how we can create our own. Go to Configuration, Media, Flex Slider. And let's click Edit next to the default option set. Here you can change the behavior of your slideshows. You could, for example, change the animation from fade to slide. And if I save that and go home, you'll see that both slideshows are sliding instead of fading. Let's go back and create another option set. So once again, configuration, media, flex slider. We'll click add option set. We'll give this the title fade since we just changed the last one to slide. And it's already on fade. You also have additional options here, just like view slideshow, where it's the animation speed. If you're choosing slide, which direction should it slide, horizontal or vertical? Should it play back automatically? the slideshow speed, whether or not it should loop a slideshow, randomizing the order, and which slide should it start on. Let's click in the navigation and controls section. And let's disable the next and previous controls. I'm gonna use this for the recent blog post block, so I wanna get rid of those arrows on the left and right sides. You'll see that you can also enable or disable the paging controls, which are the little dots at the bottom you can enable or disable keyboard navigation and mouse wheel navigation. And you have the previous and next link text. Under advanced options, you have additional things like add a pause play indicator and what should be the pause and play state text, whether or not the slideshow should pause when the user interacts with the control elements, and then some additional advanced options here. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this set and use it real quick. We'll go home and edit the recent blog posts view. In our format settings, we'll now tell Flex Slider to use the fade option set that we just created. We'll apply that and save. Now the featured content block is using the default option set, which slides. And the recent blog post block is using the fade option set and does not have control arrows.